Welcome to episode 3 of my Volkswagen Crafter camper van conversion. Um, today I'm going to a place called Elite which is just west of London at a place called Reading. Uh, they are going to be the suppliers of the wheels and tyres for my conversion. So that's where I'm heading off to now. They are really helpful there, they've got plenty of advice to give, there's a showroom so you can actually see the wheels and tyres as well. They have get out the tyres and explain everything to you. They've also got a website which you can order online and have them delivered. I wanted to come down and just have a look at them myself, so that's what I've done to collect them. Um, when I get back I'll show you what I've got. So I've gone for the Rogue Black Rhino in the gunmetal grey colour and I've put on them BF Goodridge KO2 tyres hopefully they'll be okay and they won't be too noisy for what I need um, I've also gone for some new wilt nuts these are just location rings which I'll show you in a minute and I've gone for two sets of locking wilt nuts because I wanted a whole set for my rear wheel carrier as well I've gone for five because one of them is going to be located on my rear doors, on the rear wheel carrier. The tyres are 245-65R17s and they are load rated. Both the wheels and the tyres are load rated. Um, the actual grip should be okay, hopefully it'll be good in mud and rain and hopefully it won't be too noisy as well. The blue dye on the white and right will come off on the first wash I've been told. You can see side by side that they should um, fill up the arches pretty well. Hopefully they'll look better once they're on the vehicle, but you can see the difference straight away. So let's get these wheels and tyres off and put on my new ones. I'm going to use my jack that comes with the vehicle just so I know how to use it, just in case of emergencies. It's situated underneath the passenger footwell, just underneath this cover. Um, this again, should be a bottle jack here, yeah. and these are also load weighted heavy vehicles as well. So that should suit what I need. see earlier these are those yellow locating rings they just snap inside the rear wheel and that just helps locate the wheel on the hub in the description below I will leave full details of the wheels and tyres I've actually got and uh, address of elite wheels and tyres. Give them a call, they are really helpful and um, they'll give you plenty of advice if you need it. The wheels and tyres I removed from the vehicle were actually sold on a well known auction site. Um, as they were brand new, um, I got £500 for those, so I was quite happy with that. So that helps with the cost of my new wheels and tyres. After the wheels and tyres are fitted, I'm going to drive around the block a few times, then come back and then go over each of the 
nuts with a torque wrench to the required settings, which I think is 100 newton meters from the manufacturer's recommendations. Now they're on, they look really good. They have filled up the wheel arches a little bit. I was surprised once, everything's in the back, they will settle down as well. Um, they do stick out a bit from the sides, so I might have to get some extended uh, arch kits for them to just um, cover the tread. I'm not sure on the rules of those at the moment. Um, that's something I'll have to look into. And it also probably helps to stop mud and rain splash up the side of the van anyway, so that's what I might go for. Hope you like this video and hopefully see you on the next one which will probably be my installation and floor video. Thanks for watching.